Ah, intern, welcome back, welcome back. And first thing in the morning, come on, stretch. A little bit of jogging in place. Move your arms around, get the brain moving. Say hello to Professor Eyebrows. Don't look so disconcerting, Professor Eyebrows. And let's cross our fingers for a Mel Dodo so that our lovely ladies can have a little prince of their own to help them have lots of adorable dodo chicks. All right, is it a boy? All right, it's a dodo. We've got that right, at least. We didn't mix in it. Yeah, look at the dance. Look at the dance. All right, see, somebody's feeling the morning person spirit, and that's definitely me. You may wonder why we do this at six in the morning every day. It's a boy! It's a boy, oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna name him. Um, what are we gonna name him? I kind of want to name him like something really cool. So let's just go with, uh, let's just go with Young Prince. He's going to be the Young Prince for now. And when he grows up, he is going to find that he has an entire like harem of females who are always bathing. Isn't that just the cutest thing? They're just always like hanging out in the bath. It's very adorable. I should get them like some little, I wonder, actually in turn, if I can put in I don't want him to drown or anything, so we have to be very careful, but, you know, we could give him, like, some little corals. Some teensy little corals. Alright, let's try this out. Now I'm curious. Let's give him a little coastal spot. Because they were, they were coastal birds, and they did, apparently, eat, um, pretty regularly. Here we go. Hello, little ones. No, it needed to be coastal. No, it needs to be coastal ocean. Er, no, what's going on? Coastal shallow water. Coastal shallow water. That's better. That's better. But yeah, apparently these birds did used to eat, um, like crustaceans and things like that. So let's try giving them a slightly larger pool so that we can give crustaceans to our little dodos. And we'll go in just a teeny little spot of deep water. And then we're going to come in. Look at everybody! What do they think about the dodos? What do you think, ma'am? Dodo 3 looks very happy. Look at Young Prince calling to Super Dodo 1. So he has he has already been picking. Alright. Dodo made it over that that dark or that deep spot just fine. Now let's smooth the terrain out a teensy bit down there. Okay. You guys doing okay? They're doing okay for that. We're gonna flatten the terrain back here. They still seem fine! They actually seem capable, oddly enough, of semi-floating on land or like on water. Oh, look at that! Dodo dodo kicks! So cute! They're kind of silly the way they line up. This is hilarious! I can't help it! This is just so hilarious! What are you guys doing? Standing! They're standing in the corner. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, she's like, eh, I'm done standing. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna go eat the fruits. Okay, there you go, sweetie. That's just so silly. Get over here! Get over here, you silly geese. Nope, going into water. Okay, that's fine. Look at the example you guys are setting for Young Prince. Nope, they're just, they're treading straight through the water. Okay, I'm not gonna bother, like, trying to make sense of it, ladies. You, you do you. We're gonna put a few little corals in here for y'all, though. There's that. Alright, maybe a little giant barrel sponge. Eh, maybe not there. Yeah, that's good right over there. He looks cool over there. Alright, green sea fingers to give you guys something to nibble at, maybe? Java moss, perhaps? Java moss seems cool. We'll put some java moss down. Here, let's let's do this. There we go. And then we can work unhindered for just a moment. All right, any other, let's see, corals or aquatic pieces? Let's see if we can go to coastal. Mm-hmm. Well, there is the, the anemones. So we can add in the anemones, the sea urchins. Little sea urchin. There we go. A little sugar star. Oh, here we go. Leafy sea dragon school. That's that's something we would consider. I don't think it's nearly deep enough to justify that, though. There. All right. Any other coral? Not here. But let's try reef. That's better. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This kind of cool coral. Let's see. Here's a nice big one, a big old sea whip. So we could put down a big old sea whip, some more fire coral, some of these little guys, which are actually really cute. How fun to have just like a tiny little miniature coral reef down here in the dodo exhibit. All right down here, there we go. Very small one, little fire coral. 
Should I put you in here, big old sea whip? Would you fit? I don't know if the sea whip would fit. I think the sea whip is a little bit too big. The table coral can go back here, though. There you go. That's plenty. That's GM packed back there. So that's fine. Let's get away while the water splashes everywhere. Oh, hello, sir. Are you enjoying your refreshing drink? Is there some place for me to sit down? Okay. Yeah, that, that seemed to work. Why are you really thirsty? We need to watch out for this little Arky. It's just a baby, but it seems to be having some trouble. So let's follow it down. Hi, baby. You need healed up. You're not doing so well. Where are you trying to go for water, huh? Everybody else is doing okay, but you seem to be having some trouble. So I'm going to follow you. Look at it go. Isn't it the cutest thing? Wiggling through the ferns like this. Oh, hello. There's one of the other females. All right. Oh, look at that. You can see three of them, four of them from here. I love it. All right, are you going for the water? Look at the tail feathers on this one. All right. What's going on over here, ladies? All right, do we have do we have too many of you now? Is that what you're telling me? Are you are you confronting everybody else? Seems to be doing okay. All right, I need that baby. Come here, baby. I'm really worried about him. Oh my gosh, all sea lovers! Why? Why can you not sleep? What is wrong? What has happened? Is there not enough sleep space? Is it too is it too slanted? Intern, quick! Flatten the area for the Aussie lovers. Maybe that's what they need? Aussie lovers, what is it? Is it too loud somewhere? Roaring in anger? Is that what you needed? Is that all you needed? Was just a, a flat area for to rest under? Okay, let's see. Come on, guys. Come on, you can do it. Roaring in anger, come on. Come on, let's not roar in anger anymore. Alright, make sure you put on this very special vest before we go in here and turn. Easy, easy, buddies. Easy. Anger of the Aussie lovers. What on earth is this about, huh? Do you just not have a private area? No, you don't have any privacy or like concerns. You're just exhausted. Come on, come down here. Can you not sleep down here? Can you guys not sleep? Is that the problem? Behaving aggressively is not going to solve any of your problems. Come on, guys. Here, try this one. We'll have to try different shelters. Oh, they don't want this shade structure. They don't recognize it for some reason. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that'll solve the problem. There we go. They're starting to spread out. Okay. I mean, I'd be cranky too if I didn't get a good nap, but hopefully this will help out. Is everybody feeling a little better now? A little bit less like murdering each other? Yeah, they are. Oh, that's a relief. Oh my goodness. Oh, gracious. All right, so let's check on how the dodos are doing. Glad to know that we have our little dodo male now. Is that you, Prince? Are you surveying your kingdom? You look like a very serious young dodo. Oh, and the baby is still having problems. Jeez. Where are you going? Get over here. I'm dunking you in the pond. Ugh. Can't place it in water. Can't place it in water. Okay. No, don't you dare run away. You come over here. Come over here and get something to drink. Are you scared of the big the big fountain? Is that the problem? I've never had one of the babies complain about that before. We'll put down some little water things in various spots and maybe that'll help out. I hate to do it, but you know, it's more important that they get something to drink before they, they starve. Or they die, I should say. Okay, the Aussie lover's temper seems to be going down a little bit. I think everybody... No, come on, stop roaring in anger, you guys. Pooping. I wonder why they're not getting any sleep. I might have to refer... This guy, like, huh. Aussie lover number one. Standing. Huh. So shade structures are not doing anything for them. We might need more stars. Like stat. To see if we can help them out. Okay. Did you get something to drink? 
Going to drink water from the food dish. Jeez, everybody is crowding around the food dish. I guess they didn't want their waterfall. Okay, we're gonna really have to keep an eye on the Aussie lovers then. Hmm, slightly concerned about that. Slightly concerned about that in turn. That means we need to get in a wider variety of animals. Uh, because the number of species is still pretty low, and we might have to release some of them to those dinosaur-only zones in the wild. The dodos really have uh, been reintroduced to Manchuria, so releasing a bunch of dodos to the wild will help us out quite a bit. And you know what, for now, let's go ahead. I guess we can't get rid of that Jeep challenge, so we're stuck with it. All right, for now, let's go ahead and build up another fossil of, of somebody in here. Velociraptors are pretty darn popular and they actually reproduce really fast, but oviraptors are one of my favorites. So let's try, let's try making some of these guys. Because we need to get the number of dinosaurs up in the zoo. All right, look at that tail. Isn't that tail the coolest? Gently, gently. You can't be too rough with these pieces. They're ancient. They're much older than you and I. By, by vast amounts. There, the Oviraptor. Alright, now we can create it in the laboratory. There we go. You ready, intern? Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. I don't think this one will be too hard. Of course, you never want to jinx yourself, and you never want to do anything less than your best, and it's adorable! Oh my gosh! Come here, my little one! Super over after, super over after. Let's release you. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Are you so tiny? Mongolia Oasis Forest. That is a new one. Look at it. No way. Like no way. What are you? You are just so small. Oh my gosh. I want a bazillion of them. Is it going to get any bigger? I don't know if it'll get any bigger. It's a little girl. Okay, we're going to need to build her an area, an oasis forest, huh? So we'll build her an area over here, I think. Like in this spot. So let's get the pathway laid out in turn so we know which direction we're going to be moving out towards. I definitely want to get this place up and running quite a bit before we start moving around to the other zones again. That'll still, we'll probably spend another couple weeks here at least. Because there's just a lot to do to get a whole new area set up. As compared to our other zones having been quite established. Actually, you know what? We'll just have the path go around like this. There we go. Good, good, good. We can make a new Oviraptor. Which we're definitely going to try doing in just a minute. Let's, well, let's try smoothing out this area actually. Big smoothing shovel in turn. Big smoothing shovel. That's better. That's much better. Hopefully that'll be easier to work on. Let's clear out all the little teensy grasses. Itty bitty grasses. And then let's give the Oviraptor uh, this endangered fence. Large jungle window fence. A Mongolian oasis forest. That is so new. I have to kind of wrap my mind around it on how on earth we're going to build that. <laughs> Alright, let's give her a little jungle fence, just because it looks cool and ancient. Alright, and then this should be good. They don't look like they need a enormous exhibit. And you know how I normally feel about giving everybody ginormous exhibits, but still. Alright, we're not even going to quite make it symmetrical. So do we have that area, Mongolian Oasis? Mongolian, we sure do. Mongolian oasis forest it is. Let's get the big turf. There we go. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's gorgeous. So oasis forest, for some reason to my mind, brings up the idea of... Oops. Hey, what are you doing? Mongolian. There we go. That's better. Brings up the idea of having like several small little ponds. So we might just make like a couple little oasises, you see? And then let's go ahead. I need... Let's see, that's the beach. What about dirt? Sand and turf. Okay, it doesn't really have a dirt option, so let's make the little circle again. There we go, little oasis. Maybe we'll shrink it. Shrink this one down a little bit. There, and now, in turn, 
Let's go ahead and smooth those spots out a little bit. Oh, we're still on the reef. I was like, what on earth are these rocks doing here? But that's just because we're still studying up on reef for the dodos. So, let's see. Uh, habitat, smooth, small shovel. I have no idea what goes in a Mongolian oasis forest. But we can at least make a nice looking area to begin with. Alright, good. So let's go figure out what our little overaptor needs. Oh my gosh, it's so little I don't even see it. Where are you? Uh oh, why are you really thirsty? Arkies, what's going on? Come here, Arkies. Are you having so much trouble? There you go, sweet baby. So the baby Arkies are really, they're popping out, not feeling their best. So we really have to keep a close eye on them. I'm gonna put in like some little beef shanks. Hopefully raise their, raise their health levels. Do you wanna go eat a little beef shank before your, your adults go find it? Are you gonna get a little drink of water? It, it's got good vitamins in it for you. Oh look, they want a little heat lamp. We can do that. Yeah. Are you drinking the water from the food dish? I'm glad that's working. All right, going to go sleep in the shade. Okay, you go do that, buddy. All right, we'll have to keep an eye on the baby Arkies. They really seem to be having a little bit of a little bit of issue uh, once we move them in. All right, so where did the tiny, itty -bitty, itty -bitty, teeny weeny uh, little over after go now? I see poop. There's evidence that it's been here. But where are you, my little friend? It's not like there's a lot of room for you to hide in here. Oh, I hear somebody. I hear you. Where are you? Where on earth are you? Oh, there you are. There you are, little cutie. You're so small. You're so tiny. Let's figure out what your needs are, huh? Oh, you want a little, you want a little heat lamp too. Well, we can definitely get to work on that. Okay, and then what do you need to eat? Ooh, we've got the roots. Okay, so a little bit of a mix of roots and insect matter, it seems. Insectivore chow. Or just normal insects. Or just flies. Oh, that's adorable. So we can, like, put some flies down and put some insects down. All right, we'll put a few insects down all over the place. Because that's, like, one of the most abundant food sources. So, yeah, there's no problem with lots of insects being everywhere. Maybe some flies like next to the insects and <laughs> this is kind of a big rock shelter for such a little one so let's go ahead with a rock cave at the back here I think that seems more reasonable to me a little rock cave at the back in fact we're gonna get rid of this this food selection and we'll tuck the little rock cave kind of in the corner here there you go so you've got a nice little secluded area to go in no idea at all. Okay, and we'll do a little heat lamp right there. And a couple little like food items for enrichment. And absolutely zero idea of what kind of plants go in a Mongolian uh, desert oasis. So I'm gonna have to look that up before we really deck the area out. But let's move our little one over. Little tiny itty bitty. Oh my gosh, why are the Aussie lovers so infuriated? This isn't good. Why can't they sleep? Their privacy needs are met. Okay, we're gonna have to try something. I'm gonna put a rock shelter in here and see if that does anything. Like, do they go to it? Do they interact with it? They're investigating it. I'm gonna leave it there to see if they do anything with it. Cause if this keeps up, we won't be able to keep our Aussie lovers cause they'll, they're just miserable. And sometimes that happens. We get one that just cannot adjust whatsoever on any, like any level to being in captivity. All right, where's our little over raptor? And dang it. Yeah, we'll, we'll check on our Aussie lovers in a bit. Man, I would love to keep them, but not if they're gonna be miserable here. All right, and there you go, little over raptor. So we've got you added in here. And you're so freaking adorable. Look at it. Look at its cute little self. Do you even have an excuse for how cute you are? Do you? Look at it. It looks just like a little chicken. You're just way too cute. All right. Well, that's whoops, Daisy. That's that for today, intern. And I'm going to do some research on what a Mongolian oasis forest would look like, and then we'll get to decorating this tomorrow and keeping a close eye on our Aussie lovers. 
Because if they cannot figure out how to unwind, then we may not have enough stars to take good care of them for now, and may have to adopt them out and put something else in here until we're able to take good care of these guys. So, I will see you bright and early in the morning, and turn. I'm going to go try to puzzle out the problem with our Aussie lovers and the adorable new little Oviraptors. So, I will see you then. Bye-bye.